today's topic, let's join now a group of young people at the National Education Program Workshop in Searcy, Arkansas. At the classroom lectern is Dr. Enos Jr., noted young historian. Some of you may be asking yourselves, is the American way of life worth bothering about? To understand the American way of life, its basic godless philosophy, its goal of world conquest, its insidious tactics, and his cunning strategy. To a substantial degree, in one form or another, socialism has spread the shadow of human regimentation over most of the nations of the earth. And the shadow is encroaching upon our own world dictatorship. Is it too much to ask that we fulfill these obligations of world dictatorship? If we think so, we should read again the history of the founding of this nation and consider the hardships of the people who made possible our freedom. 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 Freedom.
the official aim of the bombing was to wipe out a Viet Cong base in Cambodia, a base that existed only in the imagination of American generals. President Nixon's aim was to show the Vietnamese communists just how tough he could be, a policy he once described as the madman theory of war. The Cambodians who died were called collateral damage, and their burning villages were called friendly fire. Yeah.